Hello and welcome to another one of my uh, deck guides. Now, um, this deck is the one that uh, conjures the most emotion for me, simply because the fact is that uh, when I'm playing something else, playing another deck, and I'm trying to, and I'm on a streak, just needs me a third one to get a few more stars, and then suddenly Patron Warrior uh, appears, suddenly um, massive amounts of units come out, and I'm dead on a single turn. I love one turn kills. Not at all. Um, I've thrown my iPad and my phone a number of times. That cushions, of course, don't want to break them. They're expensive. <laughs> I've thrown them a number of times simply because I've been playing against this bastard of a deck. Of course, the funny thing is, you go, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this and I'm going to be the one making other people salty. But it's not as simple as that. This deck is filled with synergies and combos. And you think, ah, oh, it's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, play it. And, and um, I, you know, all I need to do is just play this, this simple combination I've got on my hand, I've got all the mana I use, and you fall way short of actually damaging the um, your opponent, and then they, they go on to win because they, they clear your board. Um, so it's everything that you would have wanted to do when you were playing against it, but unfortunately didn't. Now, with the Patron Warrior deck, you've probably heard of this before of a number of times. Uh, the main cards in this are the Grim Patron, and the Warsonger, Warsonger, <laughs> Warsonger, Commander, um, and also the fro Frothing. <laughs> I'll put my teeth back in. The Frothing Berserker. Main reason being is if you start using things like Whirlwind, um, that will cause um, Frothing Berserker to gain attack if you've got a large number of minions out there. And plus, every time you actually damage a Grim Patron. Um, that will generate a new one. When it generates a new one, the uh, Warsong Commander then allows it to charge. So you can clear boards and you can do a huge amount of damage. Uh, I was playing a Dragon Mage, or as a Dragon Mage, and um, I pretty much had control, I thought. Um, I had um, Taunt units on board, Strong Dragons, um, and he cleared it with whirlwind and caused me to have 25 damage to the face with single frothing berserker i was not happy that day i can tell you and um, the funny thing is there's actually a third win condition i say in inverted commas and that's armor smith if you basically apply um armor smith or a number of armor smiths with whirlwind you can out health um, most opponents most uh, classes. So that's something else that I've, I've come up against which I've been really pleased to lose. Um, one of the key things with this deck is you, if you're playing against it, playing against a warrior, they don't turn to shield up. Simply because the fact is that if you if you turn to shield up you can't play Battle Rage and gain that extra card. It doesn't become a cantrip. Um, you also want to have all the units on board, obviously, so you can get more than just a one-for-one -one trade. Oh, that's kind of useless. <clears throat> but essentially, that's what you want to do. Finisher on this can be uh, Grimash. It can play with Inner Rage or ex not Execute. <laughs> that would be stupid. Uh, or Slam or something else just to get a, a nice 10 or 12 damage from that one. Empathorassian is important because you want to uh, make sure that you you don't have to put them down on the 6th turn. Make sure you've got loads of your combo units out there. But essentially this is all about having Warsong, Frothing, and a Grim Patron, plus a trigger of either Whirlwind, Inner Rage, or um, Deathbite as well. And Deathbite certainly helps. Um, or an Unstable Ghoul as well. Those are all kind of useful. But Unstable Ghoul is on their turn rather than yours. Now, uh, before, without further ado, -do, let me show you how to not play this. Like I can say I'm basically learning this uh, the game, trying to make my way to Legend, and one of the uh, main points of this is I'm not working. 
There we go. One of the main points of this is that I'm, I'm learning the, the, the decks themselves and the uh, best thing to do is to try and play the decks that are uh, beating you. Oh, here we go. The decks that are beating you and to... Hmm, that looks kind of an awesome start, I would say. I'm concerned about Warsong Commander. <coughs> is Cruel Taskmaster mas, 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 any good? I don't know. I think I'll probably try and keep those. Yeah, let's go with this. Yeah, play the decks that are beating you. Play them as much as you possibly can. Now he's mulliganed too, so he may not have as uh, good a start as I have. Right. Um, main to Job's done. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings. Squelch. Now you have to assume that this is also going to be a patron warrior. <clears throat> if not, then everything you play against is just simply aggro. I don't know, maybe this is me, uh, maybe he's not even there, maybe he's going to quit out of it. If there's one deck that allows you, you, know, you should really, to, to use all up of your what now? turn, then it's, it's definitely this. All up, up all, all up, up all up. All up. Maybe he's gone. No, he's there. What's he gonna do? Northern. Strike. Alright, now I've got that to go into, so I'm also going to attack with that. Armored up. Hmm. I've got a good start here. I've got pretty much most of the cards that I'd want. Hmm. Strike. It wasn't turn two, at least. <coughs> He's going to damage me on the next turn, I'm sure of it. Let the pain speak to me. Right, what I don't want is him to make headway. So. Let's get one card. So what am I looking at here? Um, turn... I'd like a Thracian. Now another point of this is certainly that you want to... Okay. Thanks for that. See, I need to have that eight, otherwise I'm just dropping them down and creating. What now? The question at this point is, if I put that down, I can actually make quite a lot of them. <clears throat> can he clear the board, though? What now? Shoot. 
I'll give him some armor there and I've killed mine. Which isn't ideal. Now, more often than not, when you're actually playing, you think to yourself, oh yes, it was actually the uh, turn 7 that this messed up. And it didn't work because of that. But really what it is, is your... Uh, there we go. But really, it was probably turn 2 or 3, an error on turn 2 or 3 that caused it. Now I had to play that off the board. Turn 7. Has he played too early? I'm thinking... Maybe he has. Turn eight. Is he going to kick my ass? A fight, Kobe. Everyone, get in here. All right, let's go. And he quit. Now the funny thing is, is that I didn't actually have anything left. <laughs> That's how salty people get with this game, with this uh, this deck. And there we go. That is uh, how to win through uh, saltiness. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. If I can just find the way to turn this video off.